<laughs> Why? Hmm. A strange noise outside has gathered them together. An unlikely pair. Huh. What's going on here? Am I being nice to? No, oh, okay. Huh. All right. That's good. Right? <sighs> and then it went south. Oh, Ele Eleanor is not happy. Oh, yeah. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Hello. Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen. It's 9.54 in the morning. If you've been with me for the past few months, at least, you know that my home group, my recovery meeting, um, starts at 10 o'clock every day. I'm running a little bit late. I wasn't actually going to go this morning because I'm tired. I'm tired. Um, I got to bed at probably one o'clock last night just because I was farting around online doing nothing. Um, I did I did do a little exploration in terms of voting locations around me so I know where to go to vote. Um, but I didn't get to sleep until probably one o'clock. Well, uh, I didn't get in bed till about one o'clock. Then of course I start death scrolling and then Buddy and Eleanor being so sweet, they want their treats and blah, blah, blah. I probably didn't get to sleep till two, maybe later. And then uh, the cats woke me up at six o'clock this morning for their treats. They usually get treats early in the morning and six o'clock just seems to be the time that they're, they really want them. So I woke up at six o'clock, gave them their treats. Of course, I stro start scrolling on my phone like an idiot. Could have just turned over, went to bed, but no, got to look at the internet. Uh, and then um, they woke me up again. I'm like, uh, they're being so cute running around. Buddy and Eleanor rarely interact with each other. So I caught some of that on camera this morning. Anytime I talk to Eleanor, Buddy gets irritated because he gets very jealous. Of He wants me to himself. Um, but um, they were very sweet today. And uh, yeah, so... I got out of bed and uh, I'm going to my meeting. I start my trip today at 1.58 is my uh, show time in the afternoon. Uh, so I get to go to my meeting. It ends at 11. Then go home and uh, the cat's food, water, litter boxes, everything has been taken care of for the next two days. I'm back tomorrow night by about 6 o'clock or 8 o'clock tomorrow night. Uh, so they're good for that. Um, so all I really have to do is go home, finally give myself a haircut, a little bit of a beard trim, and uh, then I can uh, hopefully go uh, out and vote. Uh, if not, I can vote when I get back, uh, the day after I get back. So uh, there we go. Let's get into that meeting and get the day started, shall we? Well, that was awesome. That was a fantastic meeting, as usual, and I'm very, very glad I went. I really wanted to go back to bed and try and sleep for another hour, hour and a half, but as usual, when you don't want to go to a meeting, you go and there's a reason you went. And uh, this guy, Wayne, was celebrating 39 years of sobriety, and it was very exciting. I got to see my friend Vivian and make plans for Tuesday. We're gonna go uh, take a walk around the wetlands. Las Vegas has wetlands. They're not very expansive and they're very <laughs> reduced from what they used to be. Um, or we can take a walk out by Calico uh, Basin, which is a really beautiful place to be. Uh, so we'll do something next Tuesday. So I'll take you with us. In the meantime, I am probably, uh, what am I gonna do? I should probably eat lunch. Uh, no, I think I'm gonna go home love on the cats, give them some afternoon treats, uh, maybe have a little something cold to drink, fart around on one for a few minutes, and then um, get ready for work.
have lunch on the way to work and go to, where are we going? We're going to San Jose first today, then we're going to Burbank, and then we're going back to San Jose, uh, no, uh, Sacramento. That's what we're doing. So I will see you sometime soon. Hello. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi, honey. Oh. <laughs> you gonna get trapped in that paper? All right. <laughs> I could go to work. I could go to work. Oh, you're so funny. Yes. Yeah, so she has this plastic bag from Sprout. She loves to lie on that one. She likes the crunchy noises of it as much as I don't. She does. She loves this paper, and we have some white tissue paper she enjoys. She's like a little bird in that she likes making a little nest. All right, I got to go, sweetheart, but I'll be gone. I'll be gone about a day and a half, less than that, all right? See you soon. All right, buddy, I climb up there to say goodbye to you for a day and a half, but you're way too high up there. Are you going to come down? No. All right. I'll see you. Oh, you're coming down. All right. Hi, honey. Will you miss me? I'll miss you. Uh huh. Okay. People are unkind. He saw me coming like a mile away, and he saw my 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 uh, blinker. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah. You too. Bye. Have a great day. Oh, guys, I am not at my best. Ha! <laughs> I am not at my best today. Um, so I did not want to leave the house today. I do not want to work this trip. I really, 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 really don't. I'm just hoping that I meet those passengers that make the day worth it, you know, because I really don't want to go to work today. Uh, and, and I love my job beyond reason. I just don't want to go. Um, I would like to crawl back in bed with my cats uh, and maybe go to another meeting today. But um, I have to go to San Jose. Uh, and then I think Burbank and then to San Jose. Um, it is, uh, did I tell you the time? It's 1229. My report time's 158. So that should give me time to get a bite to eat at the airport. Um, I have hit every red light. Uh, there is every uh, bit of construction along the road here. It, it's insane. <sighs> but I'm going to start my day over again right now now. Hey guys, how are ya? Ta-da! Yeah, that's not working, but um, let's go to work. I want to have a good day. Let's have a good day. All right. All right. I am at the employee parking area. I'm hoping beyond hope that I'll find a parking spot. I really don't have time to hunt like I usually do for a parking spot, but We'll see. So um, there's a silver lining to the day in that I found my mail-in ballot. I thought I threw it away. And uh, I found also along with that, oh, there's a parking spot here. That's not so bad. Um, I also found the sample ballot that was mailed to me as well. Uh, so I, I but uh, there's a temptation to mail that ballot in because it is easy, you know, just drop it in the post office. Uh, but there's a special satisfaction, especially with this election, to go into a polling place, hit the button that you know I'm going to hit, uh, and then sign and, and meet the people who are volunteering to be present at this time to, you know, uh, potentially facing physical threats and danger because people are crazy right now. Um, just to sort of smile at those people and, and thank them for their work, you know. So there's a satisfaction to voting in person. Early voting starts today, but um, and I was planning on doing it, but uh, I it didn't open till 9 o'clock. And at that time, I really should have been on the way to my meeting which is important to me. So, and then I have to get ready for work and come to work and blah, blah, blah. So um, early voting is still open uh, when I get back from this trip. So I'm going to either vote the day I get back or the next morning, which will be Monday. So I might vote on Monday in person, but I am going to take the sample ballot with me um, so that I can, um, I, I, I believe I understand 
uh, the big question on the ballot this year for Nevada, which is question three. I believe I understand what my stance is on that, but having this sample ballot where I can read the, the pros and cons on both sides, um, again, I want to be really sure about my vote on that. So I'm going to take the sample ballot with me and read that over, maybe during today's one of today's flights um, or on my layover, which is about 14 hours, 15 hours. So let's see if we can find a, a good parking spot. That would be so nice. That would make my day a little bit nicer. Uh, but uh, yeah, let me uh, get a good parking spot and I'll see you either in the airport or there's two people leaving this. Oh, I wonder if they're going to give me a good parking spot. Guys, I'm so excited. This um, car, just on my right-hand side, this little Ford, which you probably can't see, a Southwest flight attendant is pulling out right. Oh, I'm so excited. Uh, and the airport's right there. Oh, he's in this Tacoma. Hi. Oh, he's so nice. He's going to give me his parking spot. Oh, I'm so, so pleased. Let me just... And then there's another... Uh, there's a spirit flight... Two spirit flight attendants who would have been... Uh, leaving their parking spot. Hey guys, how are you? Jay! Hey, what's up, nice what's up? to see you. How you been? Not good to see you. I'm great. Good. How are you? Good. Any life threatening injuries that you've no no you've uh, uh, imposed upon my yourself? And, uh, oh good. I'm gonna get another one though. Oh please don't. <laughs> please don't. All right, bye. Oh, that was Jay. He's such a nice guy. He's such a nice man. His voice is he needs to be on radio. He is so He's got such a, an enigmatic voice, um, but uh, he, he just looks like this. He looks like he's my age. He's just a little shorter, and uh, but he loves to do things like motocross, and uh, I, he really seriously injured himself not long ago, and I mean serious, serious injury, and he should not be on these goddamn bikes, but he insists. Um, all right. I got to see Jay, who is so abstractly nice. And then I got this fantastic parking spot. I got time to eat food. <sighs> All right, this this officially is a restart of my day. All right, let's go to work. Remind me to do a video on what you should and should not wear in an airport and on an airplane, because I just see an example of what not to wear, like four inch, stiletto heels through an airport with carpeting it's not good she has good ankles and she can walk on those shoes beautifully but if there's an evacuation those shoes are not going to be useful and to run away from an airplane you know um and um just sitting in an airplane with a, a four inch heel have you driven in a four inch heel never mind sit in an airplane i, I have Shh. it's a long story but um, yeah, so I'm gonna do a video one day on what to wear, what not to wear in an airport and on an airplane. But um, this line at Wendy's is taking so long. I think I'm gonna go to Shake Shack. Do you wanna all be in the picture? Are you guys all together? Oh, oh, you're very, oh, he's being very nice. Oh, very good, all right, super. <laughs> I was just gonna take a picture for a group I thought was a family, but they weren't a family. It was another guy trying to be nice, doing the same thing. It's how you make friends on cruise ships and apparently airports. All right. Oddly enough, the line at Shake Shack was shorter than Wendy's, but looking at the prices, I'm just not willing right now. Um, I think I might go to uh, Moe's or something because uh, the chicken sandwich is $11. Fries, which I shouldn't be eating at all, are six dollars for the side of fries and then there's a soda or a drink or something I'm like wow it's a lot of money that's a lot of money and then there's a tip button this is the, final morning call. the sun is setting and it's really a beautiful beautiful night here the colors are just gorgeous very delicate it's like a little watercolor with this navy and blush right in the middle very very pretty it's a beautiful, beautiful night out there. Um, I wasn't able to say hi earlier, um, but our first flight to San Jose, lovely, fairly full, 160 something people on board. 
lovely flight, really funny passengers. Uh, there were uh, a couple that were sitting in the first row uh, aircraft uh, right. Great looking couple, super like fit, uh, but both both of them presented in ways in terms of their design, their fashion and their hairstyle that seemed very, very conservative. And I was a little anxious because I'm not. And uh, in these cases, I definitely have to sort of straighten out, so to speak, uh, how I how I speak, because I don't want to offend anybody or upset anybody while I'm in uniform. And um, but they were the funniest they were a little mildly twisted is what I would say, but it's fantastic. We had like practically belly laughs. Unbelievable. What a wonderful flight. Um, the second leg of the day um, was uh, just, we just, we just landed here in Burbank. Fairly sparsely populated. We had about 63 passengers on board. Um, easy, nothing really to speak of. We did have, um, uh, yeah, there's... There's a type of person who puts on a political... Oh, are you looking for me? Sorry, they just wanted to know if we could board after the cleaners got off. We have like 60 passengers going to Sacramento. Who goes to Sacramento from, from Burbank? I don't know. But um, there's always a type of person who won't wear um, this very, very politically charged hat we might know what I'm talking about in and around Las Vegas, but they do put it back on. They put it on while they're on board, but they won't wear it out and about in Las Vegas because I think in general, Vegas leans one way politically, not completely, but leans. Uh, and it might not be the most welcome atmosphere for this particular politically charged hat. Um, and, uh, but they do, they put it on the minute they're on the plane, which is, just feels weird. It's like, if you really feel that strongly about that statement on that hat, don't you think you might like have the guts to wear it everywhere and not just on a plane, 37,000 feet in the air? But that's just my thought. That's just my thought. Um, but uh, yeah, one more leg to, uh, and we're going to end up in Sacramento. I, for some reason, thought it was somewhere else, but we're going to end up in Sacramento. Um, I do not have food with me on this trip, so I'm going to try and get something at the at the hotel if their bar is still open. We do get breakfast tomorrow, so that should be good. That'll be the only real meal of the day that I'll need. So, yay! Let's go to Sacramento. Oh, did I mention my crew? Really fun, really sweet, really great. In particular, um, my coworker up in front with me, Janice. She's been with the company for probably 10 years or so, a little more. She was based in Fort Lauderdale for a very long time, but she's in Vegas now and love her. Oh my God, love her. Having the best time. Um, and uh, yeah, great crew. So I will see you in Sacramento. Hey guys, hi. What a nice flight. Really, really nice flight. Bye, sweethearts. Have a good stay at home. One of us lives here. She's going home. Um, we are, well, they're walking. I'm shambling towards the hotel shuttle. I cannot wait to get into bed. Um, nice flight. 50-something people on board. All of them super nice. No drama. Just the girl I'm working with. Just Janice. She's dramatic. She's Drama queen, that's Janice. I had drama in the back. Uh, yeah. What did you, what happened in the back? Oh, oh, I forgot to. Oh, I'll tell you about this one passenger. She was, she was drama. I will tell you about that when I get to the hotel. She's, oh my god, it was crazy. Friday, Friday. Ugh. So, climbing through the trees, avoiding traffic. We are heading to a uh, steakhouse or a roadhouse or something like that. The wait, the uh, hotel staff gave us a coupon for a free uh, appetizer or dessert with the purchase of an entree. And I'm hungry and my coworkers are going with me. So I'm going to the roadhouse. Oh, my shoes. <laughs> Look at this burger. 
Is there anything else? Like uh, I I need. I think light perception. <laughs> after yeah, this, look at that. Back. That's what I say. Yeah. <laughs> oh, oh my God! I'm trying to peel my uniform off. So hi, I just had the best burger. Oh my God, it's probably one of the best burgers I've ever had. I wish I could remember the name of the restaurant we were just at. Some roundhouse, roadhouse, something or other, I don't know. But it was a fantastic burger. The crinkle cut french fries were frozen and weren't really good, but the burger was spectacular. Uh, and it was the same price as that chicken sandwich from Big Chicken, I tell you. Um, so let me give you a tour of the room and then I have to tell you about this one passenger that was other. Um, so the room is very nice. Give you a quick tour here. The front door is on the right hand side. We've got this, what I would have called a shrunk as a kid. It's just a wardrobe. The bathroom is over here. Got a nice vanity with this huge shower. The only problem here is it's super bright. Oh my God, this is so bright. Um, bedroom, much better lighting. King size bed, love the color on the walls. The view is okay. Big, huge TV. Oh, another, boy, they got, oh, that's uh, the safe and uh, ironing board. Okay, oh, it all lights up, I like that. Extra blanket, which you don't see all the time in our hotels. Let's see, full-size kitchen, ta-da, cute little light fixture, and there's a little seating area over here, my uniform I've peeled off, another TV, and this is the um, Samsonite messenger bag that I got, was it just yesterday? It feels like a thousand years ago. Uh, it's perfect for my needs for work. I mean, I have my passport, all my little required items here, uh, my tablet, my toiletries, some undies, an umbrella so I don't roast on the way to my car. It's the perfect little bag and it was so cheap. Love the room. Love the room. All right. So we were boarding in Burbank. We're boarding and I am standing near the door. I'm flying lead on this trip. I'm the third most junior, but I'm flying lead. Um, I'm standing near the front door and I hear someone yelling. Uh, now we have um, a ramp that brings you from the from the ground outside up into the aircraft. It's not a regular jet bridge that we're used to having. But um, I hear someone yelling, so I kind of lean out the door, and I'm like, "Who is yelling?" It's one of our gate agents yelling at a passenger. Rightly so, she veered away from the entrance to the ramp, which brought you up to the aircraft, and she decided to walk around under the aircraft, like the wings and walking around, which is a, I can't tell you, I can't describe how dangerous that could have been. If the captain or pilots had decided to turn on the engines to, you know, get air conditioning or whatever, if the pilots turned the engines on, she would have been dead, dead, not just dead, minced like mincemeat, dead. Uh, and um, apparently she told the gate agent that she got lost. No, she was just confused and lost. Uh, and then when she got up to me, she's like, I was just curious as to what was down there. What? I just watched a YouTube, was it YouTube or it was an internet clip of um, a storage container of some kind accidentally being sucked into an American Airlines engine destroyed the engine and of course whatever was in that container it was such a dangerous move it is not safe what she was doing down there so i'm i'm contemplating actually writing a safety report uh, it would have no effect on the passenger but it would maybe hopefully be one thing to maybe um create more of a safe path between the airport and the aircraft in Burbank. I don't know, but it just, it was just, it was crazy. It was crazy. When I, when I thought of what could have happened and she was just oblivious to the danger, but all right. So, um, the final thing, I got a coupon from the front desk to go to this restaurant across the street. And, um, my coworkers both came with me and they had, 10% off coupons. I had a coupon that said a free 
uh, dessert or um, hors d'oeuvre or appetizer um, with a purchase of an entree, I decided to go for the dessert, of course. I ended up with cheesecake. Oh, I love cheesecake. It's not a, it's not a very large piece, but I'm going to save it for breakfast. I know, I know, shh. I know, I know, I know. Uh, the breakfast we get here is not spectacular. I do remember that. This hotel chain, this the food is the same wherever we go. And the eggs are horrible. <laughs> I think they I think they told us we got a breakfast sandwich or something, although they can make made to order, but it's not real eggs. It's like the mixed stuff. So I'm gonna eat something tomorrow morning at the breakfast they give me for free, but I'm probably gonna finish that cheesecake tomorrow. It's just, it's cheese, eggs. What's in cheesecake? It's good. It's healthy, right? All right. On that note, I think I'm going to say good night uh, it, because it is uh, 1043 in the evening here in Sacramento. All right. I will see you tomorrow. Have a great night. Fly safe. Bye.